The scene is set in the Lane College courtyard. Capturing the essence of mid-September, every 10 seconds we will look from 10 times farther away, and our field of view will be 10 times wider. This square is 10 meters wide. There are about 8 billion people on this earth, and every one of them shares the same soil. 100 meters wide, or the length of Big Ben on its side. As time ticks, we expand our view. The students are left in the distance, minimizing as we view Manhattan on a larger scale. This is the borough of Manhattan, approximately 22.7 square miles, 1,000 meters wide, the distance a racing car can travel in 10 seconds. Here, we can see some of Manhattan, with the Parsons UC and Union Square Park visible. There are 1.6 million people living in Manhattan. Notice how there is more concrete than greenery in the frame. We can barely see New York anymore. Just small blobs we can make out as a city and the Hudson River. Several states are now visible in one frame. We even start to see some of Canada as we move further out from New York. The entire Earth can now be seen. 97% of the Earth's water can be found in the oceans. We take the health of oceans for granted, but they are under severe stress from pollution and acidification. Due to its rotation, Earth bulges slightly at the equator, making it an oblate spheroid rather than a perfect sphere. This can be seen here. Like the number of circles in hell, there used to be nine planets. In 2006, Pluto was downgraded to a dwarf planet, so now there are only eight planets. We see the moon now, as it orbits around the Earth at 2,288 miles per hour. Now we mark a small part of the path which the Earth moves about the sun. If you could travel around the sun at the same speed as Earth, you'd cover about 4.1 million miles per day. Imagine a vast, silent expanse a bustling highway filled with countless tiny travelers, artificial satellites orbiting Earth at incredible speeds. The Milky Way contains 100 to 400 billion stars, as well as the supermassive black hole, which grows by pulling gas and dust particles in. In 1750, Thomas Wright theorized that the cosmos is a disk of stars in relation to one another. As our solar system gets smaller and farther away, we are reminded just how expansive our galaxy really is. The trip back to Lane College will be a sped up version, reducing the Earth's surface by one power of 10 every two seconds. In each two seconds, we will appear to cover 90% of the remaining distance back to Earth. Quickly, we pass the stars, satellites, and moon, and dive back down into Earth's atmosphere. Four, three, two, one. We slow up at one meter, 10 to the zero power. Now we reduce the distance to our final destination by 9% every 10 seconds. Despite all of us having different ethnicities, we are all similarly made up of 300 million skin cells. We now see a close-up of skin cells. We shed about 35,000 dead skin cells per minute. As we reach into the body further, we move past the layers of skin. Did you know skin is about 15% of your body weight? We dive into the bone. Around 500 new lymphocytes are created in the human bone marrow every day. We now view the inside of a cell. The nucleus is the cell's control center. It houses genetic material and plays a crucial role in regulating gene expression. As we move in, we see the white blood cells. They are a part of our immune system and help fight diseases and bacteria, playing a crucial role in the human body. Now you can see interlocking strands of DNA, the organic chemical compounds whose genetic codes are responsible for transmitting inherited information to cells. We can see the DNA double helix close up. Each cell contains two meters length of DNA. Each human has 10 billion feet of DNA inside them if it were to be unraveled. At 10 to the negative nine meters, 10 angstrom, we are now among the molecules. The diameter of the DNA double helix is about 20 angstroms. We now find ourselves right among the outer electrons. One angstrom is 10 million times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Now we come upon the 0.1 angstroms, the realm of subatomic particles as we draw to the atom's attracting center. The nucleus is often referred to as the control center of the cell. It plays a vital role in various cell functions. It houses the DNA, which contains the blueprint for cell structure and activities. Atoms bonded into every molecule, out 
to the farthest galaxy. As a single proton fills our seeing, we reach the edge of present understanding. Our journey has taken us through 40 powers of 10. From the electrons to the stars, we can visualize the complex systems that make up our existence.